there's no smoke without fire. There is no smoke without fire. I say that, but I say at the same time, two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, two wrongs do, they will never make a right. So they, they, what we're seeing today that's playing out, you're going to see many on particular sides of the fence. I will say clearly, yes, the Palestinian cause is one that we support. Though, and we have to dif differentiate, differentiate, sorry, as we've been doing for years now. We are not anti-Semitic, but being anti-Zionist does not equate to being anti-Semitic. And being pro-Palestinian does not mean pro-Hamas. And I'm saying that from my perspective really clearly, because you'll see that individuals and entities want to obfuscate those demarcations that I've given to then shut down the discussion unless it's pro-Israeli. Um, so my thing is, we've got to be very, very clear, careful on the language that we use, the nuances that we use, and what's got to be at the forefront for us as Muslims is what does the religion say? So those who may say, oh, this is a good thing, what does the religion say? It doesn't say that. Those who say it's a bad thing and these individuals should be grateful for the lot that they've got, what does the religion say? It doesn't say that either. Nuance is really important at this point. And if we don't know, Abdul Rahim, because what I've said there, I won't elaborate upon because I'm not one of knowledge to know the deep histories, the trajectories and everything like that. If we don't know, don't discuss. And many of us may want to discuss beyond what I've discussed. Why? Because of opinions, self-opinionated idea, um, ideas and perspectives, and because of this social media edutainment crisis that we find ourselves in as Muslims, every Tom, Dick and Harry, so to speak, is speaking without knowledge. So I can only speak within that remit that I've spoken. That's the knowledge I have. But we only have to look and we can draw parallels. Oppression is always clear. Oppression is always clear. And it would always come up to the surface. Hence why Allah says about the Muslim and the non-Muslim making dua if they are oppressed, that he will answer it. He will answer their dua.